here I am now in this situation. I've been asked to go and get warmed up. I'm thinking, yes, I'm stretching. And then I hear, oi, Gollywog, sit down. I'm thinking, boy, Crystal Palace fans, them really tough. Ignore that, Paul. They ain't going to put me off my game. Hey, Wog, you knew it. Go on. Nah, there's nobody saying nothing. Come on, man. Wow. This time I got my back in her. I don't know who. Wow. Boy, it went worse. Bruv, I had to turn around because I said, no, what, go on. No, what, wait, what? And when I saw, it wasn't Chris Bellis fans. It was my own fans that were racially abusing me. Wow. And that shook me up. When I mean shook me, I was like, but brother, I'm playing the same shirt that you're supporting. What? Wow. Brother, I didn't even want to take the tracksuit off. Go on, Paul, get on it. Oh. If I wanted to tell him I don't want to go on, but I couldn't tell him that, because yeah. that would be a fault. I took the tracksuit off and I waited. I hugged the line. I didn't go nowhere. I got the ball, passed it back. Got the ball, passed it back. I'm waiting for the referee. Blow that whistle, please. Wow. It affected your game. Yeah, man, it did. I don't care. I went, as soon as you blew that whistle, I ran straight in the changing room. And now let me tell you something. You know, when we go in, you have banter. And yeah. the game after the game, we have banter. Yeah. We talk about, oh my God, yeah. you see what that point done? Oh, look. Let me tell you something. The quietest changing room you would ever see. The boys came in there because they heard it. The fans were that close. Nobody could say, are you all right, Paul? It would have been a stupid question. The only person that come up to my manager, John Young, in the corner, to Paul, I don't know how much you'll be thinking. I don't know how you're feeling at this moment. But at this time, those same ignorant people are the ones who are paying your wages. What are you going to do? You're putting it on me, Bob. Brilliant. You're putting it on me. Because mm -hmm. right now, I left that day. I don't even know how I got home. All I had was phone calls telling me, Paul, why do you want to speak for a racist side like that? Why do you want to play for them? And I'm trying to explain, it's not the club. It's just some ignorant fans. I don't care. Why are you going to play? So my thought now is, if I leave and go to a next club and the same thing happens to them, same what's that going to do? I said, no, 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 man. You ain't going to take my dream away. I've come too far. Bye bye. You don't know how long I had to play for that. After the seven months, don't get me played a couple of games, I got renewed a three-year contract. For three years, you know, I took this racist abuse. Home and away games. From who? From my fans, from my own fans. Which Not fans? all of them, my own Chelsea fans. Chelsea fans Chelsea for three fans. years? For three so years. So for the seven months, they said, yep, we're going to sign you. And yep. yep well, you're for in. three years, I was getting racist abuse from the majority of my own fans. 